And y'all hate Andrew Tate. You guys can hate him all you want, but at the end of the day, he's not the problem. He's a, he is a symptom of the problem. You guys created this market. He's simply supplying a demand. Andrew Tate was the supply for the demand. You have told an entire generation of kids from K through 12 into their adult years that they are inherently bad because they're straight, they're white, and they're males. What did you think was going to happen? Did you think they were just going to sit, lay down, and take that? Some of them will. A lot of them will. And those are the ones for the Jada Pinkett Smiths of the world. Those are the ones that are going to be maybe not happy working in an office for the rest of their life, but, you know, what other choice do they have? But some of them aren't going to be okay with that, and they're going to look for alternatives. They're going to look for a voice that says, hey, I'm here for you, man. And they're going to go into the open embrace of somebody like an Andrew Tate. You can kill Andrew Tate, man. There's going to be somebody waiting to take his place until you address the root problem, which is that you do not value men in this society unless you feel they can provide you something, unless you can use them as a means to an end. And until y'all start changing your perspective on men, there's going to be another Andrew Tate waiting in the wings. Maybe he'll get out of jail and he'll come back and, and go on a warpath. Maybe it'll be somebody you never heard of. But there will always be another one until you address that societal problem that you have created. And the thing was, what I said straight white males, it's not really a race thing. Because there's plenty of men of, of color that are treated like complete garbage by women too. And that are chewed up and spit out. And they feel like they've been just trashed their whole life. And Andrew Tate wasn't a white guy, so he spoke to everybody. So you had people of all races that are like, yeah, he's spitting. He makes sense. He's a threat to your agenda. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for Brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.